today's video. Uh, it's gonna be, this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a little fun. We're gonna be doing some science experiments. And I'm gonna, I was gonna see, what, what is the next step? What is the next step in propeller? <laughs> what is the next step in propeller evolution? Is it tordial props? Is it five blade props? Is it new materials? No, I don't think so. I think it's time we take a look back in the past and see, are one blade props viable? Now before we drop, before we jump off into the proverbial deep end of things and see if this is gonna fly with one blade, one bladed props. There is some historical, there is some historical reference to this whole thing. This isn't just a goofy joke. There's people in the past that, uh, tried this on airplanes and airplanes only need one prop and so you'd think that uh you know airplane only needed one to go the quad the quad has four so i'm gonna guess that it's gonna work that my that's my prediction that is my hypothesis this, this thing is gonna fly and the, the question is though is it gonna catch on fire <laughs> uh, or are the props just gonna explode off of it because i bought these little props off Amazon, these little two-bladed props, because I wanted to chop them up. But I also, I'm also gonna make some with some fancier props, some some fancier gem fan props. So we're gonna try at least two. We're gonna try at least two, and hopefully my quad, hopefully my, I was just looking at the fucking broke right <laughs> Hopefully my quad survives. Um, so yeah, well, I forget what the, I was gonna, I was gonna go into this whole his, history thing about it, but I'm just gonna show you some pictures of some old-timey music, some old-timey music, with some old timey pictures of the one bladed prop things, like boop boo, you know, like the the uh, the silent movie music. No, well perhaps I'll give way to Mr. Ivan Scott, who's going to talk about something new. There's always something new in aviation. If it's not a double plane, it's a single bladed propeller. It looks like half a propeller. The little end being, of course, counterweighted so as to get an even revolution. It is claimed to have 20% extra climbing efficiency. But see for yourself in this demonstration at Hanworth. Both planes are identical except for propellers, the single blade being on the left. Okay, so now you now 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 <laughs> let me try it again. Okay, so now now you have a little idea of a historical context. You have a little bit of historical context about the drone or not the drone? Damn it, the the one bladed prop. Wait, hold on. As you see, I made a bunch more of these, and the ends are definitely not super sharp at all, and they're super not super dangerous at all. They're super safe, and so we're gonna go. We're gonna take my Pirate Shorty Frame, and we're gonna go outside, and we're just gonna see first if this hovers. We're just gonna see if this hovers first. That's the main goal. Hover test, and then freestyle rip. Freestyle rip. <laughs> I'm outside in my very, uh, very fancy, very scientific lab, so let's see if this is gonna hover. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna stand back. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. We're just gonna see, let it connect to the radio really quick. Okay, here we go. So I arm it. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> well, it just exploded. It just exploded off those props. So I have stronger ones. I have stronger ones I'm gonna go get and I'll be right back. Okay, here here we here we go. Here we go. Hover test hover test number two. I'm scared now after those props flew off of it. Okay. Here we go. Let for, get a second to arm. Come on. Shit, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna orient this in a way. In case it does hover, I know which way to fly it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, let me fix that real quick too. Okay, that's the nice thing about those pizza batteries. You can tuck that lead up right up in there. Okay, <sighs> God, I'm scared. <laughs> All right, hover test number two. Go. Uh, well, uh, it kind of flew. Well, it, uh, it kind of ripped the motor off of the motor screws. I don't know. Is this motor still good? Danger. <laughs> Amazing. Everything, everything seems the, the props didn't fall off. It didn't explode this time. Instead, the motor exploded off of the arm. Well, I think that pretty much concludes that question. Uh, can will a little, will the little, uh, come on, show it. Can you can you fly a drone with a badly cut, a badly cut, not balanced uh, singular? I mean, technically it flew. It technically flew, so I wasn't wrong. It technically flew. It got about a foot and a half off the ground, and then the motor sheared off, uh, which is more a fault of the shitty motor screws and not uh <laughs> and not the the quad itself um so well i was gonna go freestyle that so instead enjoy this freestyle clip instead hell yeah still here uh well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did do subscribe and i got a patreon and a discord and uh, instagram and if you give me 20 bucks a month i'll put your name at the front of this video uh or if you give me 60 bucks a month i'll do that plus it's all fancy lettering and you also get a, a sick exclusive t-shirt every two months um i'm gonna go think about the bad decisions that i made and hopefully my five inch quad that i'm going to try to fly for the next month 
isn't irreparably repaired, isn't irreversibly fucked. Hopefully it's fine. Okay, bye.